Hi YouTube viewers, in this tutorial we will be going to see about the processor or we can call it as a CPU, how CPU look like and how it will be, okay. So this is the top view and this is the pin indication if I, if I remember, if you remember I have told about this pin indication in my very first video. So this is the very important part by seeing this only we will be putting in the socket 378 we will be putting. And this is the clock split which is present on your on your CPU and this is the L2 catchy. This is your L2 catchy and this is your FSB spread and this is your core voltage, how much voltage is required. Those all the things are present on the top view. And this is your top view, bottom view, if you see this. And this is your L2 catchy and this is your pin indication. By seeing this pin indication only we should place it on the CPU. Now let us see about the SMPS, it is a switch mode power supply. So we have in our SMPS we have SMPS fan inside it and 230 volts input voltage and 230 volts AC output voltage we have. Okay, this is your ATX power connection which is coming out from your which is coming out from your SMPS, red color indicates your 5 volts, yellow color indicates your 12 volts, orange color indicates 3.3 volts, gray color. Power is good if it indicates purple color, those all the colors are specified there and with their respective numbers. Okay, this is the peripheral power integral. So it is nothing but uh, if any peripherals are connected. So for that we will be having these connections. This, this is the module. This is also coming out from the SMPS, so which is 12 volts and ground and 5 volts it is the floppy for floppy power connection we have this floppy connector and 12 volts ATX connector if you see my motherboard video then you will be seeing that there will be a ATX connection, AT connection and ATX both there will be, ATX auxiliary connection and this is your cabinet which has a power switch reset power LED and HDD light. Okay. This is your cabinet and this is your back view of the cabinet which consists of a SMPS case, motherboard, so that ports we will be getting that here uh, and system fan and in, in, in car in case in peripherals are inserted then we will be have we will be using these things. Okay. Inside it is inside your cabinet we will be having the CDD cabin, HDD cabin and your speaker will be present okay CDD cabin is nothing but your, your floppy you will be using your floppy disk or your CD writers different different CD writers that is nothing but CD cabin HDD is not your hard disk FD is nothing but floppy drive we will be you kind of using them those things are placed at this point and this is your heatsink fan we will with a two locks E locks and fan it has 12 voltage and ground and this is your HD RAM which has two notches. HD RAM consists of two notches and this is your ID jumper pins and power connections for your hard disk. This is your top view of your hard disk and these are the instructions which are listed on your hard disk it will be present and this is your floppy disk with eject button and LED. There will be a power connection. If you see your floppy disk, there will be a power connection and data cable connector. This is your CD-ROM front view. In that we have headphone jack, volume control and LED access. And maximum spread is nothing but it is showing. You can able to see that 52x is number 52 into 150 kbps that is equal to 7800 7, kbps. This is a pinhole. And this pinhole is mainly used if you if there is power supply off then the important CD which is present inside it you want it then use this pinhole just take any safety pin and plug into it then you will be getting the CD out. So pinhole is used to open the CD and open and close is also used for the same purpose only if the power is present if there is no power then use this pinhole. It is a very important. Okay, this is the audio CD connection, CD connection, jumper pins, and power supply, same as usual. 
connections are present cd this is the top view and all the audio jack volume see pin plug a pin hole and your on and off open and close cd writer back side there will be a power connection we can able to see this and there will be a window name volume control as I, as usual i have seen it uh, it is dvd i think so read and read and writable so that is the reason they have told it again we have cd writer top view and different screws which we used here okay and this is your agp card graphic card external graphic card if you need it and this is your lan card thank you for watching this video